Paul Renner, one of the most influential designers advancing the world of art and typography from the 19th century to the 20th century. In 1878, Renner was born in Weinigabod, Prussia, which would later be established as Germany. He would go on to live for 77 years and become known throughout the 20th century as a graphic designer, renowned typographer, book designer and author, a principal and a director at two separate institutions, and a design theorist whose ideas really blossomed in his publications. But perhaps what he's known for the most is being the father of the Futura typeface. Renner was raised in a Protestant household who were driven by the German principles of leadership, responsibility, and duty. This is just a snippet of his hometown in Prussia. In his early life, Renner developed a passion for abstract painting. He found difficulty in enjoying some of the other, more popular forms of art that were beloved during his time, like singing and dancing. His love for fine art, like painting, inspired him to become a principal at the Printing Trade School in Munich, as well as the director for the Master School for Germany's Printers. Though never a member of the school, Renner was greatly influenced by Bauhaus and their simplistic philosophy that there should be a harmonious balance between form and function in all types of design, from architecture to typography. He found the work of William Morris intriguing, the pioneer of the arts and crafts movement. However, it was in Renner's fascination of the movement when he began to question their use of type, its readability, and its functionality. He was also influenced by his fellow typographer, graphic designer, and personal friend, Jean Cheshold, who was noted for his own revolutionary typography and design, called New Typography. During his time, designers were working to build a bridge from the 19th century design into the modern 20th century. They began to ask questions that would change the face of modern day design. What is modernism? What's its purpose? What is the functionality of typography? While these questions were being asked, Renner was an active member of the German Work Federation, responsible for book designs curated for the modern age. And in his work, he began to experiment and try his hand in creating his own typeface to further advance design of the 20th century. In his experimentation came Renner's Futura typeface. Throughout its release, Renner has been praised for making use of basic geometric proportions with no serifs or frills, and creating a typeface with efficiency and forwardness that is still revered to this day. Futura has seen a wide variety of uses and success, from book covers to a variety of logos used throughout the past century, such as the logos for Dolce & Cabana, FedEx, and Costco, as well as the logo for the James Bond sequel, Skyfall, and it also had the honor of being the very first typeface seen on the moon commemorating the landing of the Apollo 11. During Renner's later life, Hitler and the Nazi party were on the rise to power in his home country of Germany. Renner was not afraid of taking public stances against them, and because of his courageousness, he was arrested by the Nazi party, only for a day, being released by someone he personally knew, and soon after, he was branded a cultural Bolshevist and nationally untrustworthy. He was banned from ever working a normal job again, and shortly after, Renner went into exile. However, even during his, as he put it, exile in his own country, he continued his designing and pouring his heart into his work. Renner continued to write his thoughts about the world down and paint his view of it and design new typefaces, seeking to continue advancing design and its purpose. Renner passed away in 1956 at the age of 77, having never left Germany and deciding he would remain in exile. Paul Renner is globally revered as the father of the Futura typeface that would go on to change the face of design in the 20th century. He further strengthened and established the Bauhaus belief that a harmonious relationship exists between form and function of all kinds of design, which was the driving force behind his revolutionary typeface. He advanced typography and design from the traditional 
19th century to the modern 20th century, just as he'd hoped he'd be able to do.